go hockey, we've got a few vouchers alongside some of the prizes uh, that are going out this afternoon. We've started by identifying uh, six youth players who have sort of unearthed themselves over the weekend. Uh, those players are receiving a $50 Go Hockey voucher. We've got three women and three men here. Uh, so we're going to start, and those people can come up, receive their vouchers. Uh, firstly is Lana Charlick. Next up is Lisa Zhu. <laughs> and the third lady, Gurleen Gill. <laughs> and on the men's side, Tilda Waitua Hohepa. Moritz. And I'd say the NZI boys would, would light the place on fire if I didn't call out this name, but Amanjot Singh. with four goals from the New Zealand Junior Māori team, Penelope Taolofu. <laughs> yes, you're coming up, Penny, and yes, you're getting a voucher. <laughs> enough to um, have some vouchers to hand out this year for the men's and women's player of the final. So for the women's final, the player of the game goes to Riley Grills from Heritage Barbarians. Next, we've also got a $100 Go Hockey voucher that's awarded to the goalkeeper of the tournament across both sections. This year, the goalkeeper of the tournament is John Casey. and women's players of the tournament. So across the whole four game weekend, they are also receiving a $100 Go Hockey voucher uh, for the men's player of the tournament. And coming up to say a few words, representing NZISA, Sergeant Patel. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. 
Uh, just want to thank my team. Uh, pretty good weekend out there. We're pretty soaked with um, being able to go unbeaten throughout the weekend. So I think that was a big goal for us to kind of get through that. And then obviously today we put in a good team performance to close out. Um, so thank you to, to the BGM boys. It's a two like pretty tight games. So um, yeah. And thank you to the tournament organisers, sponsors, directors. So yeah, thank you very much. And secondly, our women's player of the tournament also receiving a $100 Go Hockey voucher. Uh, and I'd also like to mention massive amount of work that um, this person put forward in bringing us a new entity to the New Zealand Heritage Hockey Tournament. Uh, representing the New Zealand Asian Dragons, it's Julia King. Woo! Team, uh, 18 player list for the men and the 18 players for the women who have been selected uh, by a panel who have watched most of the games through the weekend um, will go by uh, the team so we can applaud at the end of each. Uh, we'll start with the women from the New Zealand Asian Dragons, Julia King, Jess Ellis and Lana Charlick. And yes, you're coming up. You're all coming up so we can get a pretty photo with everybody. No vouchers, sorry, we ran out. <laughs> From the New Zealand Junior Māori team, Murphy Phillips, Holly Hilton-Jones, Garvey Smith, Penny Lopetalofo, and Grace Hilton-Jones. From the New Zealand Heritage Barbarians, Holly Landon, Ella Layton, Kaya Elliott, Tori Val, Vic Methvin, and Riley Grills. <laughs> and from NZISA, Jaina Suka, Shana Nasai, Sharina Nana, and Kashona Thapachetri. up the men's selection for Heritage Tournament team from the New Zealand Asian men, John Casey, Dylan Muggleston, Ben Schwass and Ryan Chu. From the New Zealand Junior Māori team, Norpeta Hohepa, Te Oranga Wairua Hohepa, Miles Landon and Caleb Williamson. From the New Zealand Fiji men, 
Moritz Raymond, Rocco Ludolf, and Julius Talaval. And from the NZISA men, Josh Durosingham, Kaylin Dahl, Hiran Mani, Brett Menezes, Shay Iswa, Divin Mbika, and Sergeant Patel. are the tournament champions trophies uh, we're going to call out of course the winning team the captain will come up say a few words and we'll bring the whole team up as well uh, we've got some certificates and bits and pieces there too so starting with the winners in the women's section it's the new zealand heritage barbarians yeah, so tori if you can come and say a few words and then uh, ladies you can come up and get your certificates as well sponsors that made this tournament possible and everyone behind the scenes, the Heritage Committee, um, all the TDs, um, Brad on the commentary, everyone behind the scenes. Um, this tournament's always run really well so a big shout out to you guys. Um, where's Willie? Is he here? Willie? Uh, I'd just like to say like uh, Willie was probably the first person who kind of started Heritage back in like 2015 when we were out at Colma just a one day tournament kind of thing. Um, and to see how much it's grown today is a big, um, it's honestly incredible and like, it's props to you guys for how much work you put in behind the scenes. Um, shout out to the New Zealand Asians. I think it's so cool to see you guys out on the turf. Um, <laughs> Julia and Lloyd, you guys have done awesome jobs. Um, bringing an Asian team together and you guys really did well this weekend. Um, all the teams, thank you, and all the players. Um, New Zealand Maldives, you guys have got some incredible up and coming talent, like genuinely such a good game today. Um, I'm sure we'll see you back again next year for another battle out there. Um, thanks to Parish, where's Parish? Yeah, pa thank you Parish and Ruth. Um, it's never easy bringing a team together on the day pretty much, or the day before, um, and you did really well with all the big uh, personalities in our team, mushing them all together, that's aimed at you Vic, you wanted to shout out, so there we go. Um, but yeah, big thank you um, to everyone who made this tournament possible, it's always um, a favourite for us, and um, it's really cool to see everyone out there embracing their heritage, so yeah, thank you. And if we can invite the Heritage Barbarians ladies up, the full team, up you come ladies with your trophy, we'll get some photos. from the winning men's side, uh, the New Zealand Indian sports captain, Devin and Bicker. Um, 
Firstly, just want to thank everyone behind the scenes who put in work to make this tournament possible. Um, it's been pretty cool to see how it's grown over the past few years with all the new teams coming in this year, so um, yeah, thanks for your efforts. Um, umpires, thank you for your work. Obviously, we don't really make it known, but um, obviously we can't have the games without you, and I think the standard was pretty good throughout the tournament. So, yeah, uh, to the Fijian boys, cheers for a well, hard-fought final, um, and then the rest of the teams for pretty good effort um, in the rest of the tournament. Um, Local Gecko Productions, thanks for all your work. The coverage has been pretty good uh, for all our friends and family who couldn't make the trip up here. Um, and then, yeah, to the boys, congrats. Um, we obviously came to camp a few days early and uh, I think we sort of built our connections on and off the field pretty quickly and I think we improved every game, so yeah, congrats. Um, and then to our management team as well, um, coaches, managers, physios, you guys made it pretty easy for us just to go out there and play hockey and not have to worry about a whole lot. So, uh, yeah, cheers for your efforts throughout the week. Thank you. I'm going to invite the entire NZSI and the team up the front to receive your certificates. Boys up here for a photo. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2024 Heritage Champions, New Zealand Indian Sportsmen. support on the side of the turf is huge for the players uh, you know they love playing in front of a crowd it's been awesome to be at this facility this year um, so a massive round of applause for yourselves the fans and supporters and I'd just like to finish by inviting um, our komatoa up to finish with uh, closing karakia had the privilege also of attending three of the four days of the tournament and very inspiring for all the young people and the men and women that participated. Congratulations to each and every one of you. All the thanks have been said on behalf and to those who made all the connections this weekend. So as I close our prayer this afternoon, to give you safe journeys, everyone. Until the next tournament, perhaps, but there's lots of things that are going to happen in between. Also, a big shout out for the babies that we've seen here and um, what they've been up to with their families. It's been wonderful to see the real next generation of hockey players, perhaps. Um, for those of you who have travelled far and wide, Nami here to Kyoko to Kato. I want to hear a song from us all, and then I'll close it with a prayer. The song is simple, and it goes like this, and all you have to do is repeat the words that I've said, please. E toru na mea, e toru na mea, na mea nanei, na mea nanei, e ana, if I fail, if I fail, to Manako, go to Menui, go to Aroha. I'll close with the 
Jake and Priya started on Friday. Pai Marere. Tō tikana maramatanga e te atua i tō tātou ki ingi atu heitia i ngā tīnana e ngā mui i anetia mai ki a māta kato te ahi ahi nei a e ngā ute this afternoon, Father, we just pray for safe journey for all the participants, their families, and everyone who have attended this tournament over the last four days. A special time also, Lord, as we remember it has been Easter. We pray, Lord, for the continuation of the New Zealand Heritage Hockey and all the good things and positive things that we're able to endure into all the friendship, fraternity that we saw on, on the playing field of hockey this weekend. Until next time, the family here gathers back together, Lord, we ask your peace and blessing on each and every one. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Tournament 2024. Please get home safe and we'll see you in the next one.